has about an hour to clean. Of course, I'm not done at all. The calves got to get cleaned out because if you wash your machines and you don't clean out the cab, it's going to smell like a wet, wet wash rag in there, wet molded one. But I got everything blown out on the tracks and cleaned all that stuff up. And I'll have to go around some goof off and wipe off some of the grease. And you're never going to get all the grease off of it. But it, it is, this machine's hell a lot easier to clean up. The grease on it. The hay rake, I, I walked power washed it and it took a good while to get all the grease off of it. Well, not all of it, but because nobody ever pressure washes hay rakes, but you know, I don't know why you wouldn't. You want to keep them looking nice. That's how you, that's how you do it. But, um, of course, the inside of the cab, that's got to get, it gets completely, you let it dry, and you wipe everything down, get all the armor off, take all the windows out, wash all the windows, clean all the windows off, and, um, you just do a good detailing job on the inside, um, and, of course, you got to let it dry, but some of the scratches and stuff, you are never going to get off unless you really get after it, but I just want to get it, get cleaned up today, because... Hopefully we'll be starting the big dirt moving project here in a couple weeks and, and it'll be looking a little bit better than what it is, what it was. But we're I'll keep you up to date on the cab and everything. I'll show you how all that works and I'll probably end up pulling the well, of course now I got the radiator wet, but I'll let that dry for a few days and then blow it back out. But yep. She needs a little TLC, it needs to be washed every year, because if not, you're gonna fight it the next year. Bad. And you don't think these machines get that dirty until you really start cleaning on them, and then you find out really quick. Um, this is how dirty they really get. But she look good with that used demo bucket on there. We should be demoing that thing next week. And uh, you can see I can only have it for a couple days, which is fine. I got a few little odds and ends stuff to drive away, and some dirt and shit that I want to do with it. So, well, keep you up to date on the skits today. Well, we're calling it a day, but we didn't get the cab cleaned out. I will give you kind of a before of what the cab looks like. Next weekend, we'll get this finished up probably Friday or probably Friday or something like that in the afternoon sometime. I popped the caps off and cleaned the junk out of the foot screens is where your foot pedals and stuff are. But if you don't, if you just pressure wash it, basically the mats and stuff, since this is kind of, this is foam. It'll get to smelling real bad. It'll smell like a wet wash rag. So that's got to get taken care of. This is that's next weekend for sure. Next week for sure. But looks a lot cleaner. A little bit of mud, but a lot cleaner. Get all the grease and stuff off of it. And you got to keep them nice looking. I keep. We try to keep our stuff looking as promising and as clean as mo as clean as we just bought it. But sometimes it sometimes it don't always work. But We'll get the cab all cleaned out next weekend. Y'all see some video on that probably. And uh, sorry for no time lapse. My phone's kind of getting full on storage, so definitely gotta download that here in a little while. So we'll catch y'all in the next one. Dad's gonna move, bring his truck up, and we're calling her an evening. See ya, guys. Just comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Uh, well, we found this on the interstate the other day, and it fits our trailer. Just ducky doodly. We just gotta go find three more for the trailer. And that shouldn't be hard because the part number and everything's on that one. So I guess that's a message to people who lose hubcaps and stuff. Don't be losing your hubcaps. If I find them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick them up. <laughs> we thought it was a Dodge one at first. We would. I can't believe that thing did that that well. I know, and the thing, I mean, you can't even. You can't get it off or nothing. You have to take a pry bar pull it up. I thought it was a Dodge one when we went by and we, 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 we went back around and went to look at it and was like, well, that's just an 8 lug. We thought, we thought that would fit the trailer, so we just picked it up and thought, we'll take it home and stick it on the trailer see if it fits, but you can tell it fits. And I say it'll fit the spare. I'll make sure we get, I'll make sure we get four of them because you get one extra. But it's going to make it look a lot better than having the hub and stuff sticking out. It'll look good behind both of our trucks. That's just a little... Fits that to me? Cool. We'll 
Let's put our spare one on there. It's just a little interstate find we found and stuck it on the trailer. Find four more. I'll show you guys when we get them all four on there. But it's just got the part number and made in China and everything in there. Phoenix. Shouldn't surprise me here in Indiana. The interstates in our our state is horrible. <laughs> Anyhow, that's just a cool find find we found that fits. So catch y'all in the next one.